Hey guys, it's Mrs. Simpson from SMS PLS, and I'm going to talk you through today's craft. And today's craft is making a kaleidoscope. Don't know if you've ever looked in a kaleidoscope before, but what you do is you look in one end, try to line it up with my camera, you put it up to the light, you turn it, and it's kind of like you see a beautiful prism. There's like beads inside. Some of my beads have sort of escaped to the front, but you get the idea. I'm going to talk you through how to make one of these. They're kind of a lot of fun. So your kits are going to look a couple of different ways. First, I'm going to talk through what to do with um, the kit that has a little bit of help already provided. So some of you have a kit that contains something that looks like this. It's a piece of clear plastic and a silvery triangular tube. You'll also have a tube like this and one end already has some clear plastic on it. You will have some beads, you know, just like a few. <laughs> it doesn't take many. And then you'll also have another clear plastic disc like this. Well, the other thing you're gonna wanna have for supplies, if this is what your kit looks like, is you'll wanna have your cool melt glue gun. This is one time where you actually probably really need it. And some stickers, markers, or other things for decorating the outside of your kaleidoscope. So let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna do if this is your kit. You're gonna take your kaleidoscope and see the end that has the plastic on it. You're gonna put that side down against the table. Then you're gonna take your beads and you're gonna put them down inside, just like that. And I think I'm gonna actually add a couple more from my stash over here. And you know, I wanna show you how I did my beads. When you get them out of the bag, you probably wanna corral them in something. I took this old lid from uh, something else in the kitchen and I used it as a place so my beads wouldn't go running all over the place. All right, let me put one more thing in. All right, so my beads are all down in there and I'm gonna make sure I put this up just like this. Now I'm gonna take my triangle with the plastic on the end and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put the plastic in down and I'm gonna take that plastic end and I'm going to push it down into the tube. Now watch what happens. See how my plastic is just maybe a little too big for the tube? This is why I'm gonna need my scissors. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of the plastic if I need to, because every paper towel brand is just ever so slightly a different size. And I am just cutting off like the tiniest bit around the edge, just tiny amounts, not much. Like, like little fingernail clippings amounts. And now I'm gonna see if it fits. Get my trash out of the way. So feed side down, make sure they're all the way in there. Let me see if I can get this in there now. Now I may have to push a little bit. I'm gonna take my tube, up. Oh, it's going, now I have to push. Now this is where it helps to have something to help you push this down in there. Now you don't wanna push super hard because you'll pop the plastic off. I like to take something like a chopstick or a long handled spoon, and that's probably gonna help me do what I need to do. So I'm gonna push, push, push all the way in. And that kind of helped me do it. And I'm gonna take and make sure it's all the way in there. All right, now when I look down inside, I can see my beads turning. All right, so the first thing I have to do is close this up and then I can decorate it. So I'm gonna take my Cool Melt glue gun and I'm just gonna put a bead of Cool Melt glue around the edge. A pretty good sized one. I'm gonna take my pre-cut plastic disc like this and I'm just going to stick it on there. Okay, so now my basic part is done. I've got a kaleidoscope. If I look in this end and turn it and put it up to the light, I see a pretty design. But the outside doesn't look so great. So this is where, if this is your kit, I want you to take your markers or your stickers, and I want you to make it look all pretty. I just took a piece of paper and wrapped it around mine and called it a day. You may wanna get a little more creative than that. Now let me go ahead and take you through if you have the kit that has fewer things assembled for you, what you're going to do. So if you're that person, you have some beads, you're going to need your scissors. You're going to need something to push the um, piece of plastic down inside. You'll have 
something that looks like this with circles drawn on it. And you'll either have a tall tube like this one or a short tube like this one. Either one works. This time I'm gonna show how to do this with the short tube just because I think it's fun. And you'll also have a piece of reflective silvery paper like this. All right, so first step. My reflective silvery paper is obviously quite a bit longer than my tube. I need to cut it to size. So I'm just gonna lay this down here and I'm just gonna take my scissors and kind of make a little mark with my scissors to show where to cut. And I'm gonna cut this straight across. Now, if you're not great at straight edges, that's cool. Don't worry about it, use a ruler or something. I'm gonna take this other part, I'm gonna set it aside. So now, I have to go ahead and get a few things ready to go. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make a triangle, kind of like the one that was done in the pre-done kits for everyone. So I'm gonna fold it almost like I'm folding a letter up to put it in an envelope. I folded it and notice the shiny part is on the inside. That's gonna be really important. Now I've gotta make my triangle stay closed. This is where I'm gonna need my glue gun. So I'm gonna take my cool melt glue gun and I'm gonna run a pretty generous bead of hot glue right along the edge. I'm right on the edge of it. Now I'm gonna be careful because remember it's cool melt but that doesn't mean it can't kinda hurt if you get your fingers in it. I'm gonna push down and hold it until that glue dries. Okay, I feel like it's gonna stick. And check this out, I've got a triangle that's shiny on the inside, white paper on the outside. Okay, next, I'm gonna pick up my three circles that are on a piece of cellophane. I like to control my cutting a little bit, so I'm gonna cut them apart. But I have to cut all three of them out with my scissors. So let me do the first one with you, then I'll hurry up and do the other two. So when I'm cutting, size is gonna be important. I'm gonna very carefully cut just on the inside of the black marker. So you know how sometimes they tell you don't cut inside the lines? This time, you wanna leave the black part outside and I'm cutting around it. So I'm cutting very carefully. until I'm completely cut out and I have my disc ready to go. So I've done my first one. I'm gonna hurry up and I'll do the other two. Then we'll go ahead and pick back up at the next step. Okay, now that I've got these three cut out, I can go ahead and get some more parts of my kaleidoscope ready. The first part I wanna get ready is the sealing of the end of the tube. So it doesn't matter which end you pick, they're the same. You're gonna take a bead of hot glue and be pretty generous with it, right along that edge though. It has to be on the edge. Really get it on there, because it takes quite a bit to help it stick. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna take one of my circles and I'm gonna carefully place it right over the end. And it's important to seal it up because otherwise my beads are gonna fall out and that's not gonna be so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. While I'm letting this dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get the internal mechanism ready. So I'm kinda gonna do the same thing. I am going to run a nice bead of glue right along the edges of this triangle. And this time I'm gonna take one of my pieces of plastic and I'm gonna center it as best I can, trying to make sure there's an equal amount of space around all the sides. I'm gonna take a second and let that dry. Now, if your uh, kaleidoscope is starting to try to come open, you may have to go back and run just a little bit more glue along that edge. 
And you know that happens. Once it's inside the tube, it won't move anymore, but you wanna put yourself in the best position you can to have it move smoothly. All right, so I've got this part, this part. I've got my beads. And remember, I still have one more plastic disc to go. All right, by this point, this should be dry and ready to go. So I'm gonna take a few of my beads and I'm gonna put them inside. Not too many, because they have to have room to wiggle around. So I'm picking just a few at a time. I'm trying to pick small ones. And if you look inside of mine, I feel like that's probably enough to do what I want it to do. Next up, I'm gonna take my tube and I'm going to gently push it down inside. This seems to be always where I get myself into trouble, by the way. All right, now this happens sometimes too. You can see, look, it all came out great on the end. But this is sticking out. So if that happens to you, you just may wanna take your scissors and do a little trimming. So I'm just gonna trim. You know, I thought I had it right. I didn't quite have it small enough, but that's okay. I'm just gonna trim. You don't need to take it back out or anything like that. I just get my scissors in there because you know what? This is gonna get covered up anyway. Whew, it's escaping me. All right, so now that it's even, I can do the last step before I go on to the fun part of decorating. I've got my final plastic disc. I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue around the edge of the circle. Don't put, well, I guess you could put hot glue on the triangle too, but this will probably work better. Be pretty generous with it because you really want it to stay on. And I'm gonna carefully place that on there, making sure I don't touch the glue and hurt myself, but I'm gonna hold it down until it dries. All right, so right now I have a very plain, very simple kaleidoscope. Let me put this up to the camera so hopefully you can see inside. If I held that up to the light, my beads would move around. All right, now I can do the fun part. <clears throat> so I would grab markers, stickers, anything I wanted to decorate the outside of this kaleidoscope and get it looking terrific. So there, once again, there's my finished product. I just took some paper and a little washi tape and called it a day. You may want to get a little fancier. So hopefully your project turns out fantastic, whichever method you choose. And I'll see you in class soon.